Welcome to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Sei Shu. Now, you know, I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Beryl Ann Young, a photography blogger and a mentor who's passionate about helping moms feel more confident about being their family memory keepers. She's releasing a children's book called Phoebe the Photographer Gets a Camera next month. It's photography based about a little girl who gets a camera for her birthday. Now, Beryl's primary goal is to inspire parents, perhaps like you, and kids to connect via photography. Now, that last sentence right there uh, really should inspire you to just lean in and listen because this is going to be cool. I'm going to find out a little bit more about what she means by that. And so welcome to the show, Beryl. I really appreciate Thanks. what you're doing. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> you know, before we started recording, uh, you said you were uh, a teacher for a while. Um, you were, um, uh, you decided to move from being a teacher to being a photographer. So give us a little bit of a, a background on how you uh, transitioned from one to the next. All right. So I started out teaching kindergarten and first grade. That's what I did right after college and quickly realized that I actually had more of a fondness for technology than for being in a classroom with kids. I loved all the tech tools that they were using. And so I taught technology for seven years. So I spent 10 years in public education. And then uh, during that time, I picked up a camera like a lot of moms. I got the fancy DSLR camera before we had our daughter. And I wanted to know how to use it. And I thought I had this misconception that I was going to pick up the camera, take it out of the box, and it was going to take amazing pictures. And that's not the case. <laughs> and so as a lot of my clients find, they're like, oh, there's stuff I have to learn. Um, and so I decided to combine all my passions together. Uh, while I was still teaching full time, I started this class called Momtography, which I taught locally. I'm in the D.C. area, so I taught that locally. And over the course of several years, it's trans transitioned, and I have an online course based around it, too. Um, so education has always been kind of my trade and what I love, and then the photography kind of swept in, and I fell in love with that. And then I left education three years ago to do this business full-time, teaching moms photography, and I'd always wanted to write a children's book. I love children's literature and reading and writing was my favorite thing to teach. And so the year I left education, I wrote the book. It took three years to find the illustrator and get self-publishing um, and just figure out all the pieces to get it published. But I'm super excited that it's coming out finally. <laughs> when is it, when is it uh, going to launch? Um, it releases May 16th. Oh, it's coming, so, coming up very yeah. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And so it'll be available on Amazon on May 16th. And so, yeah, anybody can get information about it. I'll be, I'll be pushing it on my website a whole lot. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you will. Okay, so I'll make sure you get the link too. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell me a little bit more about the, uh, the genesis of the idea of creating a book. Why a book? Why, I mean, you've said you've loved children's liter literature, uh, but what is this connection between that and the idea that uh, perhaps that children should be correctly inspired to get into photography or I, use photography to perhaps express themselves? I mean, what, yeah. is, what is the connection? Perhaps you can tell us a little bit about that. I love that question so much. And so, you know, the main thing is I teach moms how to use their camera, but the deeper layer under that is that they really want deeper connections with their family, Absolutely. right? So they, they want to be able to remember all the moments that are happening with their kids and they want to be able to like sit down with photo albums and look at those pictures and like leave that legacy. And so I know we were talking a little bit about the recording about how sometimes it can be hard to engage your kids in the things that you love the most. I think photography is an easy in as like a hobby for moms because they can do it while they're raising kids. Um, but if the camera isn't an instant source of we're going to connect over this, especially if your kids are young, if they're toddlers or babies still, you can still read books to them and start to inspire that love of photography in them. Um, you know, one of my favorite things, I have a five-year-old, and one of our favorite things to do together is to read a bedtime story. Or at the end of the day, when we're like reaching the witching hour right before dinner, okay, let's just settle in and read a story. Um, so I think the, 
the the book piece is the way that I kind of get that in with like connecting with her and inspiring her to want to pick up the camera more because she doesn't always want to. <laughs> awesome. So you have a daughter who's who who's probably inspired you to create this book in the first place. Uh, mm -hmm. What does she think of the book? She loves the book, and it's so funny. Um, she's kind of she's seen it come to life. I didn't actually read it to her till I had illustrations and sketches. Um, but as soon as I had black and white sketches, I just went and like printed them at Kinko's and I read her the book and then she sat there with the pages and she was coloring them in. When is this going to be colored mommy? And so now she carries it everywhere. I had a proof copy in the car the other day and I just looked through the rear view mirror and she picked it up and she was looking through it. So she absolutely loves it. And, awesome. and she's already fed me the plot line for a sequel <laughs> to the book. So That's I'm like, all right, I guess I might be writing another one. We'll see. Fantastic. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about working with an illustrator. I know you said you, it's, it took you a, quite a, quite some time to find the right illustrator for the book. Uh, who was the illustrator, number one? And what was it like connecting with, with that illustrator in terms of what your expectations or your ideas were for the book? So that had its ups and downs. And like I said, the book was written three years ago. And then I was sort of like, well, I don't know how to find an illustrator. And I was also trying to weigh like, the traditional publishing route versus the self-publishing route. So it sat and sat and sat. And in the last three years, a website has come to be called Fiverr. I don't know if you've heard of Fiverr. Yeah. Uh, so you can get all sorts of services done on Fiverr. A very basic service can be done for $5, but then it kind of escalates from there. And I had used Fiverr for random, like just one-off design jobs or quick copy editing jobs. And one day I was like, oh, there's illustrators on here. So I started researching and um, I found, initially found an illustrator and I'm like, oh, I really like their work. And I think I hired two or three at the start to just do a sketch of the main character. Like, I want to see what they can do with the main character before I hire on for a full project. And so I found three. I hired one. We got through, and this is the positive and the negative of fiber. We got through the entire like proof copy of the book and then they fell off the face of the earth. They like totally disappeared. Oh, wow. And that was, I know, it was like, oh gosh, it's taken three years. We're almost there. This is back in the fall. And so um, I just kind of put the project away again for a couple months. I was like, I need more time to figure this out. Do I want to go back to Fiverr? Do I want to go somewhere else? And one night I was scrolling through Fiverr again and I found what I was like are the perfect illustrations. It was so much better than the initial person I had hired. And I messaged this girl and I told her what happened. And she's like, that's not going to happen with me. And she got the whole thing sketched. She's been amazing to work with. Her name's um, Daria. And here's a proof copy of the book. Oh, so, so there's cool. the cover. Yeah. And I got back the sketch for the main character and was just like, yep, you need to do this book for me. She's 25. She lives in Russia. Um, and she's been nothing but a dream to work with. She's done all of my edits. She did the illustrations so beautifully, so to like the vision that I had. Um, and it just, it worked out. And I think for an indie self-published book, working with Fiverr and doing that was the perfect route to go. <laughs> well, that's a great success story, no doubt. Um, yeah. You know, uh, there, are, there, are, there are people out there who probably will, you know, you connect with and will drop the ball but it's nice always to hear success stories where people have actually come through and, and made, made it happen for you. Um, and it's so funny because it kind of goes along with the book. The whole theme throughout the book is resilience and how you kind of recover when you don't get what you want out of life. And so that theme of resilience, I guess, <laughs> cropped up in the creation of the book too. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, going along with the idea of what the book book's message is, um, I've always wondered when, you know, especially when you sent me the proof uh, that, you know, and the fact that you teach moms, it seems almost like, you know, you're, you're geared towards uh, perhaps empowering uh, women and girls, especially through photography. Is that the case? That is definitely the case. Yeah. yeah, tell, yeah. Me more, I... tell me more about why, though. What, what's that? What's that? What does that mean to you? So I guess the deeper why is, um, you know, the backstory on my whole entry into photography is that we had an initial pregnancy that ended in a pregnancy loss. So at 20 weeks pregnant, I lost our first daughter. And that was the turning point in my photography journey. So there's definitely this theme of 
empowerment and resilience in my own story. I had picked up a camera before that pregnancy. I wanted to take beautiful baby pictures when our first baby was born. And I had to rediscover myself and who I was through the camera. And so that was the main reason I started blogging or even talking about photography. And when I started to find that my words and my photos were helping to heal others out there, I was like, oh, there's something to this. There are a lot of moms, whether or not they've experienced something like pregnancy loss or not, there are a lot of moms that sort of lose themselves in this journey of motherhood. And the photography piece gives them that chance to find themselves. And for me, that meant starting this whole other business. But for, you know, and some moms are going to find that, whether it be through a photography business or through starting an entrepreneurial journey. But some moms just feel like they find a piece of themselves in a new hobby just by picking up a camera. So, yeah, that's sort of how it connects back to my journey. Fantastic. Well, uh, thanks for coming in and talking to us about this new book that you're launching. Um, it's called Phoebe, the photographer gets a camera. It's coming out on May 16th. Am I right? Yep. Uh, and uh, we'll have links to that uh, in the blog post, of course. Uh, one of the things I think I always like to know uh, after someone's finished a product project of this, uh, this size, I guess this, <laughs> this, this length uh, is other than the facts that you know you've had some issues with finding illustrators, what other challenges did you have uh, making this happen? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so uh, I guess in the initial startup of writing the story, that's not easy. Children's writing, you think, oh, I'm going to write this children's book. It's going to be great. You have to find the right language to use to have it resonate. And a children's book, you can't just go on and on and on and on. You have to keep it contained to 32 pages not too many words and figure out what you're it's it's just like building a business who is your audience who are you writing it for and that was a bit of a challenge at first too just that overwhelming piece of like i have this idea how do i condense it into the smallest parts for the writing awesome yeah great so the the fact is you were already thinking of the next book uh we want to ask you what the title of the next book is because <laughs> that would be giving it away too quickly I want people to go in and definitely click and buy this book, uh, especially if you have daughters. Uh, it makes a whole lot more sense, I think, if you do. Uh, first, it gets them to go read a book, finally, uh, because of, you know, I have two boys and they don't, you know, getting to read has been challenging. Um, mm -hmm. And I get it. Uh, so parents, I'm sure, who are listening in will probably want a book that makes sense for them. And hey, it's about photography. It has to be great. You know, you, you can talk about your experiences, I'm sure, as a photographer, as you read the book to your daughter. Um, that's one option. Um, and the other thing is you can also get them to go out and take pictures. I know one photographer here locally who's actually, in a way, training his daughter to become a photographer. And she's really good, getting to be a really good photographer. Yeah. And, and I'm sure uh, if she had been... Uh, of, of Phoebe's age, let's say, uh, it would have been a perfect book for her too. Um, last question to you. What is this, uh, what age range is this book f meant for? So Phoebe is five in the book. Okay. So I say that the age range is probably about uh, three to eight. I mean, depending, you know, parents reading aloud, three to eight or so. Awesome. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Beryl, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I look forward to... Uh, uh, hearing more of your success uh, as the book launches and uh, we'll have this uh, interview up on my site real soon great thank you so much take care bye bye, bye.